Hey Cashers, Derek here, Big Six Clan. We're gonna be doing another Smart Cash build, and this one is gonna go into a birdhouse. Let's get started. All right, so we are gonna be building another Simon uh, like Smart Cash. Now this one, instead of going in an ammo can like we did last time, is gonna be going into a birdhouse. And I'm going to show you two different sets of wiring solutions. The first one is that we're going to be putting it into a on a Uno card, and that's what I have here in my hand. So there's one type of wiring that we're going to do that for that, and then the second type is that we're going to be using a Nano. So there's a little bit different configurations to do that, and we're going to be doing some really fun stuff on this one because one, this cache is not going to be beeping out the actual code to get into the lockbox. No, we're going to be adding a servo into it so we can have a preform cash dispenser in there and it's just going to drop that out. So that's one of the things that we're going to add into this one as well. And I really like the idea of the cash finders not having to come out with batteries themselves. So it's going to be already powered, but we're going to be adding what's called a reed switch into the door itself. And when, it, when you open up the door, it's actually going to power up the Arduino. So those are the things that we're going to be putting into this, but first, before we even get to even wiring this up, there's some prelim stuff that I need to do. First, I need to put the wires on the buttons, and I'm also going to make put some tips on the end of these pre-wired LEDs that I'm going to be using this time because when I put these into the, the, the prototype board, proto board, um, it just really has hard to go in there and they don't always make good connections so I'm add some different leads to those. So let's get all that started and then we'll get into actually wiring this up. Let's go. All right, so now the soldering is done for the buttons and the LEDs. Now I've gotten two sets of these buttons and LEDs, one for the Uno and the other one for the Nano. And I'm actually gonna wire the buttons differently between the two of them. This set of buttons right here that I have, I've actually daisy chained the ground from one button to the next. So that's one way that you can do it. And then the other ones, I just have the standard uh, two lines coming off of the button itself so one positive and one ground even though these buttons really all they are short out so it doesn't really matter which terminal you solder the colors to so that's those are done so now we're going to start putting all the wires together on the uno itself and then we'll go and talk about how that's wired up and then we'll get into doing the nano All right, so now I've gotten the Uno all wired up, except for adding the power to it. And before I added the power to it, I really wanted to show you how this reed switch works. Now I've got it already hooked up to the battery. Now the reed switch is a lot like the, or exactly like the, um, if you have an, like a home alarm and you have the sensors on your doors or on your windows, that's what a reed switch is. But mine at my house are wireless, so, but we're gonna show, I'll show you how this wires up. But with this reed switch is actually what's going to power on and off the cache itself when they open up the door. So let me show you how this is going to work. Let me set these to the side for a second. And I'm going to show you using my multimeter here. So I'm going to connect this up real quick. I'm just going to set it to 6 volts. So watch the numbers up here. So I'm going to connect there and there. All right, so right now, it's showing 5.79 volts. But when I connect the switch, notice it drops down to zero. So when it open, the door opens, it turns the cache on. When it's turned off, closed, it turns it off. Now that you see how the reed switch works, a really cool uh, add on to this. So now I'm gonna hook up the power to this Uno and you'll see how it works. And then we're gonna switch it up and we'll do the wiring for the Nano. All right, so here it is. It looks like a wired mess all going into this Uno, but let me explain to you everything that I have going on here. All right, so the buttons are here, and like I said before, they're daisy-chained together, 
So I could just use this one ground right here so it runs into the ground there. Then my servo comes into the ground, five volt, and then over here at, a, at 11. So that's how that works. Now here's where I started using this the proto board here. And what I've done for like the piezo, which is right here, I, that comes out of two and minus three. Now it was a lot easier putting it onto this board because one, I didn't have to solder anything, but I can loop it over and actually put it in there. So one of them comes into straight into the board here and that runs into this side of the piezo. And then this wire comes over into this part of the board here itself. And then it runs into this resistor and the resistor brings it into the piezo. So that's how I did that with the piezo, just makes it really easy to, to put together. Now here's where it kind of got a little interesting is with the LEDs. Now all the LEDs run into the Uno itself. But the way I did the ground, instead of soldering all the wires together and just using one ground, what I did is I bounced off the ground from the Uno into the proto board, made this one side as all the ground, and I plugged in all my LEDs onto that side, and that caused that to have the ground on it. So now all we need to do is plug it in. All right, so it's plugged in. And as you see right here, I have the switch, uh, the read switch is all closed up right here. So I'm gonna open that up. And there it starts going off, it sounds, and you just press any button to get into playing the game. So we're gonna start playing the game. Okay, so we won. And then here goes the servo. Servo moves. So that will drop the preform. So that is the wiring now for the Uno itself. Now we're going to take the same, do the wiring now, and we're going to put it into a Nano. All right, so now the Nano is all wired up and it works the same way as the Uno does, but the wiring is a little bit different because I ran all the grounds out to the outside of this breadboard. Now I use this breadboard because it makes it a lot easier to wire. One, the Nano doesn't really have the inputs into on the top, so I needed to put it into something, fretboard or a breadboard. And so that's what this does here. So I've ran it into the grounds out here into the negative and then I can use that for all the grounds on each side. And then the power comes into here onto the screw terminal and then that bounces down to where it needs to go as well. And the servo comes off the VIN, coming right off the battery itself to the servo itself and then wires everything else. All the other wiring is the same because all the inputs are all the same on the Nano as they are on the Uno. All right, so today we saw the wiring for the Uno, and then we saw the wiring for the Nano. Now, when I put this out in the wild, I think I'm probably gonna go with the Nano version of it because it's easier and cheaper to replace the actual Nano itself than it is to replace the Uno. But before I put it out, I will actually take the, this breadboard here that I have in my hand and redo the connections and solder it to here because that'll make it more permanent where this just pushes in. So, but I also want to thank DJW House for sending me the code, helping me with this as I've been going through this whole build, um, been, being there for when I need to call and say, hey, I have a question on this, and this has been really awesome. Could not have done this without him, so I want to thank him very much for helping me with this. But I also want you guys, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what would you rather do. Would you rather put a Nano out, or would you do an Uno? Just let me know. Leave me a comment down below and also let me know what do you think of these builds. On the next Behind the Cache, we are going to be taking this Simon and putting it into a birdhouse. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. So join me next time on Behind the Cache when we do that. But hey, check out one of these other videos just right over here and find the story Behind the Cache.